Today we're going to be taking a look at a spin mop. You're not going to want to miss this. Don't go away. All right, YouTubers, it is Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the O Cedar Easy Ring Spin Mop, okay? Uh, it's got uh, the power of microfiber, uh, machine washable, 30% more absorbent. So we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna use it, we'll tell you what we think. They seem to pack an awful lot in this tiny box. Well, I shouldn't say tiny, but considering what it has in it, it's an awful lot. There's the mop head. Very poofy. Very, very poofy. And if you're wondering why I need something like this, I have a lot of dogs. And tile floor. And my dogs are jerks. They like to pee on the floor, especially if it's raining. All right, the bucket seems pretty solid, uh, not cheesy. There's a little ratchet mechanism that makes the spinny thing spin. Overall, seems pretty good, pretty decent. Large enough, should hold enough water. And here's the tiny mop handle. Oh wait, nope, never mind. It's telescoping. Okay, you just unlock it. Slide it out, tighten it back up. All right, let's go ahead and fill her up. You'll notice inside the bucket there is a mark. It says maximum, and I guess that says how far we're supposed to fill the bucket up. I use really, 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 really hot water. And as you can see here, I use Clorox cleaning bleach that is mixed with bleach and pine saw. Works great. Love this stuff. Okay, I think it would be unfair to judge the absorbency of the mop head until it's been used a couple times in case it has any kind of stuff on it from the factory, but we're going to try it out anyhow. If it doesn't do a great job, I'll take a look at it again in a week or so. Here I'm slopping a ton of water on the floor, far more than I would if I were normally mopping, mainly because I want to mop it up. All right, I'll stick the mop in this spinny thing, give her a whirl. All right, now I'm doing a lot of spins and really fast and uh, let's see what happens well um, the whole idea of it having some kind of thing inside the fibers that's preventing it from soaking up is probably right out the window because it seems like it's soaking it up pretty well this is probably something that will get better with age not worse Look at that. Wow. Actually, I'm pretty impressed. It's picking that right up. Not bad. All right, let's see how much water we can get out of it from what we just mopped up off the floor. Let's see what comes out of it. All right, you see it's, it's shooting some water out. So it, it did a pretty good job of picking that water up off the floor. Uh, 
I'll just clean up a little bit here. Yeah, it seems to be doing a really nice job. Um, I don't seem to have any problems with it. Seems uh, so far so good. Because I did such a lame job of showing you the spinning action, I wanted to film that again and let you see it in the, the works here. So here I am loading up with water. And I will tell you, this thing sucks up a lot of water because when I'm pulling it up out of here, it's pretty heavy. All right, so drop it into the little spinny thing. And then just start mashing down on the pedal. Yes, the entire mop is spinning. So you just kind of keep your hand on the mop handle and just kind of let it go and the whole thing is spinning. Well, I'll say that seems pretty dry to me. Far, far lighter and look at how floofy it is. It's almost like it's dry. Well, look, yeah, it's uh, it's warm because I'm using really hot water and, and tiny bit damp, but man, that sucker was dry. All right, I'm going to do it again just so you can see from the uh, other side and see how much water comes out as I do this. And you can see right there, that's, that's a lot of water coming out of that mop. And, and yeah, I don't think I would ever mop with the mop this dry and, and wrung out, but it's nice to know that I can do that, especially like if I'm trying to mop up a spill or something. Look at that, floofy, floofy. Rub it on the floor. It's hardly leaving any moisture on the floor at all. That is really, really dry. All right, let's 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 take it for a real whirl, and let's do some mopping here. Well, it seems to steer really nicely. You see, I'm, I'm kind of actually being able to get underneath the edge of that door just a little bit. I also seem to be able to get into the corner pretty easily because that head is kind of a triangle shape. And so it's kind of pointy and lets me get into the corners. Uh, didn't seem to really have any problems with it. Worked pretty good. As I'm mopping here, I'm noticing one thing that is going to be something I'm going to miss that's not here, and that's like a scrubber of any kind. I don't see any way to scrub, and my old mop had an entire scrubby edge on it. Uh, this doesn't have anything like that. This is just uh, the mop head. But yeah, look, I'm, I'm getting right up underneath the toe kick, right all, all the way up under. It's uh, working great. Uh, it's super easy to steer around. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. Now, obviously, I can't attest to anything about durability, um, but I can tell you, at first blush, this is doing a really great job. As I go over the floor, I can see that the floor is nice and neat. Uh, you know, not a lot of excess water down there. Pretty happy. All right, as you can see, the uh, O-Cedar Spin Mop seems to uh, uh, be a really handy little thing. You can uh, mop really, really wet. You can mop really, really dry. Uh, it's very flexible. The swivel head makes it uh, really able to get to different places. Uh, uh, it was really actually pretty nice. Uh, it even has directions on how to uh, um, spin it to achieve the desired uh, wetness or dryness of your mop head. Um, as to the durability, it looks like it's made pretty well, but uh, only time will tell, especially the foot pedal mechanism. Uh, if you look inside, you can see that it is plastic gears uh, meshing up with each other. And so, you know, you have to wonder about that. But at $29, uh, I think that uh, it, it may give you some sticker shock at first, but if you figure, 
any mop, bucket, and ringer combination is easily going to be $29. And this, you get the whole package, plus you get the spin mop effect. Uh, you can wash the mop heads individually. So if you keep one spare in the house, you can take this one, throw it in the washer, put the new one on, and you keep right in business and keep these nice and fresh. So uh, generally speaking, I think it's a pretty good little deal. Uh, I think you might like it. I think you probably want to give it a try. Um, if, uh, if I find anything out over time uh, about its durability and its ability to hold up, I'll make sure I do a follow-up. But uh, for now, that's going to be uh, all. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, click subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about the mop or just my videos in general, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, until next time. Be good.